Uh, you're curious to know how Yuri is, uh, Yuri's doing. Okay, let's go, let's go see Yuri. Where are you heading this late at night? Ah, uh, it's you. Where I'm going is hardly your business. Do me a favor and mind your own, won't you? You got it. I somehow doubt your sincerity. You'll get your way this time. There's a dispute. Or maybe treachery is the more fitting word. Regardless, a purge is required. What do you mean by purge? <sighs> I see I've got to spell it all out for you. One of my goons double-crossed the gang. He absconded with his boss's small fortune. My small fortune. And buddied up with another gang. Members of the gang are recognizable by their scorpion tattoos. Suffice it to say, they're not a group you want to tangle with. Despite that, I'm not about to just roll over and play dead on this. So I figured I'd pay them a little visit, have a spot of tea with their boss. Makes sense, you know. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> As a former mercenary, I knew you'd get it. You know how things are done in our world. But I am a former I play mercenary. My cards wisely. I wouldn't play if there wasn't any hope of winning. I'd like to help you. There you go being adorable again. I don't think that's a good idea, but thanks. Better head off now. I've got people waiting for me just outside of town. See you around. Let me join you. <sighs> what is it you're after? Money? Me? Or are you just looking for someone to kill? I'm doing my diligence as a professor. You seem adamant. So, I'll allow it. Won't hurt to have backup if things go south. I trust you, for now. But I don't know how reliable you actually are. Is it the just cold so dead eyes? Clear, you mess with any of my people, I'll slit your throat without hesitation. Got that? <laughs> I was threatened. Please do not eat the weeds. <laughs> he said the thing again. Something I want to check. It may not be until the next month. But at some point, we're going to have the Traveler's option unlock. Yeah, it may not be till next month. Hey, Catherine. Hey, train. You really are as hardworking as they say. That's right. I'm a force of nature. Huh. Maybe the gossip's wrong. Hardworking people usually don't like to make a big fuss about it. You're hard to get a read on, you know that. Although, hold on. I actually was told to try this between Yuri and Bernadetta. Meals are better enjoyed when in the company of others. Don't you agree, Bernadetta? Sure, but can I get all this, um, to go? Yeah. So I'm told that there's, it's worth uh, exploring uh, motivations between those two. There we go, here's one. But who... Okay, so Hilda, but who else... No one else that I'm trying to recruit, though. Because I ain't recruiting Leone if I don't have to. Okay, well, who needs... Who needs supports? Or not supports, uh... Motivations. I guess Balthus. Down and enjoying a meal together. Oh, I forgot that there's a history between these two. <laughs> That's right. Brings me back to the days when you, Holst, and I were inseparable. Okay, so now lost items. Which I'm pretty sure Caspar is the one who has that coat that's lost. Yeah, that's definitely. Yeah. Fine. And then I need to go find Dimitri, who is over. Wait, I saw him. I saw him show up. Ah. Here, Dimitri, I have a sword that I think is yours. No, not gifts. It's lost items. Dulled longsword. Oh, thank you. I have been looking for this. But how did you know it was mine? <laughs> the thing literally told me it was yours. Okay, wooden button. That's Raphael. 
Oh, I'm getting supports everywhere. Finally. Oh, that was awful. Just terrifying. Hey, Bernie. What's terrifying? I walked up to you. She asked me to show her around. I tried to be polite, but strangers are just so nerve-wracking. You've never seemed scared of me. Now that you mention it, I think you're right. I don't know if I ever had felt scared around you. I wonder why. You know, Professor, you might be the first person I've been able to speak to normally since I got here, and I have no idea why. I'm glad, regardless. I'm happy about it, too. When we first started out here, we had to do drills. Outside. I skipped those every chance I got. It's a terrible idea going out in the forest with all these people you don't even know. Thanks to you, though, I can actually make it through class now. I'm grateful for that. I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here. It's all right. Sorry. I'm okay. I am okay. I'm doing just fine. I feel safe here, thanks to you. Oh, I love Bernadetta. By the way, was that see? Uh, was that you singing in the greenhouse? What? You, you saw that? Why would you see that? You were watching me. That cross is a line, Professor. Singing? Me? Why would I be singing? I'd never be singing! Ah, I've never been so humiliated! Useless, worthless, unmarriageable! Ah! Poor Bernie. I just love her. Wow. Hey, Sylvain. Bye, Sylvain. You treat all your students equally, don't you? You've never all of them equally, except for Sylvain and Lawrence. And Edelgard. And, and Hubert. A lot of this game right. is just supports and uh, whatnot. Hi, Mercedes. Hi, Annette. So Hi, Dorothea. You will be mine soon as well. Uh, I bypassed where the support is. Okay, never mind. Hi again, Bernadetta. Hi again, Mercedes. Hi again, Annette. Hey, Professor. Will you ever allow me to investigate that crest of yours? It won't hurt a bit, I swear. I'm sure I could find out all sorts of things about your crest. And you. Of course, I'm not you know, as experienced I'm more, with such research as Professor I'm more uh, okay with, with letting I him research my Someday crest than I, I am Hanneman, because at least Lenhardt asked me nicely. And he's an okay guy. Hanneman, on the other hand, is a creep. Are you dissatisfied with me, Your Highness? Please do not hesitate to correct me. And there it is again. Yes? What is it? Well, you often choose to address me as Your Highness. When we first met, you used to call me by my name. That was because I was unfamiliar with Fodlin's speech. Thinking back, such rude manners were inexcusable. To be honest, I much preferred it. I feel more comfortable being addressed by my name, rather than with the honorifics that go along with being a prince. But... I did not teach you to read and write so that you know how to address me properly. And I brought you to the Academy as my friend, not a vassal. But your highness, a vassal is precisely what I am. So much has happened since we met, yet we cannot seem to bridge this gap. So be it. I give you leave to return to your quarters. Take an early night and reflect on what I've said. Please. I couldn't possibly. I said I would accompany you, did I not? True. But I would much prefer that we take steps to ease this mindset of yours. My man is loyal. Do I have enough support with you to recruit you now? Oh, um... Professor, my class is, um... Would you, um... Can I join your class? Yes! I've won the game. Yes! Bernadetta has joined the party. Can I recruit... I'm just gonna go around and see if I can start recruiting. Uh... Good can I recruit you, you? Did you need something? No, I can't recruit I Raphael yet. He's interested, but I don't have the stats that he wants. Okay, so now... Who else could I try? I've had a support with Lysithia. I could try recruiting her now, maybe. 
Okay, Lysithia! Join my house, please. I'm actually very busy right now. If you're here, ask someone else. Let me love you. Okay, not what. How did I get? I'm so confused. How Caspar joined me like day one? I don't understand how that happened. Uh, Ferdinand? I could try Ferdinand. We've had some support with him now too. He's interested, but I still don't have what it takes. I was confused why his icon was blue, but I probably have him on for mission assistance this month, don't I? Linhard is over here. I could try for Linhard. I don't under- like, How did I get you, Caspar? I don't understand it. How did I get you? Okay, Linhard is gonna join too. Wonderful. I look forward to watching you close up. Is it just that I haven't had a support with some of these other- Like a support cutscene with some of these other? Two hours of class time should be sufficient. Two hours of class. Okay, Linhard, you're fine. Uh, so Linhard joined. Bernadetta joined. Uh, Dorothea, where was Dorothea? She's in the hall, isn't she? I do find you very interesting, Professor. Uh, <laughs> why won't you love me? I'm just gonna be rejected here as well, aren't I? <laughs> I'm just gonna end the day. Okay, so who else can I be teaching things to? Constance. Uh, you, really? You have a budding talent in brawling. That's interesting. Let's, I mean, let's go for it. Let's get you some of your uh, budding talents. That's, I'm a believer, believe it or not. Big on the goddess, crazy about her. What do you think about me studying faith and brawling at the same time so I can show my devotion with my fists? <laughs> You know, I'm going to approve this just based on that last line there. You and I, you and I, working together, alone, I, I... If you've got time to whine, you've got time to work. Otherwise, this won't ever get done. I don't care if it never gets done, but I don't want to be stuck here forever. Okay, okay, let's get to work. Oh, poor Bernie. I did well, right? So next time you can pair me with someone else. Yuri is the wow. best. He's my favorite. <laughs> we were quite the team, I must Wow, say. there's... I was told to get the support with them because there's some interesting twists, but oh my gosh. And they got a perfect, though. Okay, what are we doing this week? Oh, it's Edelgard's birthday. No. All right, so now let's go ahead and start the uh, next part of the story mission here. I have to say, it's a real honor to accompany such a brave and distinguished knight. None other than Catherine, wielder of Thunderbrand. Okay. Thunderbrand. You mean you don't know? My weapon is called Thunderbrand. It's one of the hero's relics. A long, long time ago, the goddess bestowed divine weapons upon ten heroes, which were passed down to their descendants. It's an honor to wield, but I'm afraid there won't be any chance for that today. Our mission is to help clean up the aftermath, not to fight. Why would Lenato incite such a reckless rebellion? You should know more about that than any of us, Ash. Well, I don't. Lenato never mentioned anything of the like to me. He probably didn't want you getting caught up in his own personal vendetta. What vendetta? How much do you know about the tragedy of Dusker, Professor? I've heard of it. It's when the king of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus was... was murdered by the people of Dusker. It happened about four years ago. It's okay, Catherine. Please, go on. Right. Well, Lord Lenato's son, Kristoff, was accused of being involved in that whole awful affair. He was executed by the church. Why was the king targeted? King Lambert was attempting a major political reform. Needless to say, he had many enemies. Whatever the truth behind that incident may be, Lord Lenato has harbored resentment toward the church ever since. Well, to be more specific, his grudge isn't only against the church. It's also against the one who turned Kristoff over to them. Report! 
The enemy is approaching. They can't be avoided. Their numbers are far greater than we predicted. They use the fog to slip past the Knight's perimeter. It looks like our mission just changed, Professor. Everyone, prepare for battle! Prepare for basketball! No, I said battle. You, uh, you basketball? But before we start the battle, let me go through some inventory management. And then you're going to use this. Just put all, all resources in on a net. All of them onto a net. Okay, so now shields as well. So technically Annette has that chalice, which means that she can't have a shield. Uh, but I want to, I want to put shields on some of my weaker units here. So like Ash, you take one. Um, who else is weak? Uh, Linhard probably wouldn't be a bad idea to put one on you. Um, Bernadetta, you take one. Then who's gonna get the last one? Uh, probably be a good idea to put one under Mercedes as well. I do want Ferdinand on the field so we can be building a relationship with him. Bernie, I want you on the field. Kaspar, I want you. Annette, obviously. Mercedes, obviously. To do, yes. Dimitri, yes. Do I have any more? Ingrid, yes. Ash, yes. The enemy could be trying to surround us, but they shouldn't have enough soldiers to form a tight circle. Take down anyone who breaks through the fog, and let's push through! There we go. Alright, boys and girls, let's do Stay this. Focus. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. He said the thing. You think we're just gonna do nothing while you try to kill our lord? Why, Lenato? Why did you drag so many others into this? Catherine, you're not setting a good example. Okay, now, Catherine, you're setting a good example. Oh, okay, there was someone hiding in there. But look at the dude taking no damage. Oh, look, and Felix is... Oh, Felix is a low level. Whoops. Have I not been focusing on Felix? Okay, Ash, keep moving up. Dimitri, you're escorting Ash. Mercedes, you should probably go with Ash. I'm splitting off a little bit here. The main body is going to keep there. Bernie, I'm going to send you over there with them. Annette, you're scouting ahead. To do, stay with the group. Because Annette, I think, found some more. I won't let you anywhere near Lord Lenato. Fine. Okay, the fog is lifted as a result of dark magic being defeated. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> it's you. Thunderstrike Cassandra. It was your wretched zealotry that killed my son. <laughs> the only name I answer to is Catherine. Prepare to taste the blade of one who serves the goddess. Now you face a knight of Theros! And the fog is lit. Oh, <laughs> There's nothing left to hide you or the filthy central church from the judgment of the goddess. Don't be, don't be killing Mercedes here. Don't be killing Ash either. Uh, Ash. Oh boy, Ash. Stay alive. I need you to get to the, uh, the end point here. Maybe I should send in uh, some reinforcements for Ash. Okay, keep Mercedes near Ash so she can keep healing him. Yeah, you're a big help. And Mercedes is only level two. It's, okay, so I must be like not paying attention to the levels here because Mercedes was also level two. Okay, good. Linhart did the thing that I wanted him to do. If we don't lose Annette, it's gonna be a miracle. Although, fantastic dodge there. Try to keep up. Then I'll 
Nuh -uh. Okay, she dodged again. It is going to be a miracle if we don't lose a net. She dodged again. That worked out. It's just a jump to the left. Oh my goodness me. Annette is just like refusing to die. Really pushing the luck here. But then Catherine came in and was like, sit the heck down. Okay, let's surround Lenato here. So I am curious to see what uh, interaction happens if I put uh, Ash in first to interact with Lenato. Okay, Ash should be able to go here now. So let's see what happens. Stand down, Ash. I must destroy these evildoers by any means necessary. Please surrender, Lenato. Whatever your reasons for doing this, we can still talk it out. Rhea is an infidel who has deceived the people and desecrated the goddess. We have virtue and the goddess herself on our side. Even if all that's true, dragging the townsfolk into it like this isn't right. Enough. If that is how you feel, prepare yourself. I'm putting an end to this. Poor Ash. Lenato's like a father figure to him. I'll do my okay, best. well, Annette, you time to destroy. By that witch. I will show you the truth. Losing is not an option. That vile woman. Kristoff, forgive me. Lenato, I... I never thought I'd see Lenato meet this fate. Your allies did not suffer heavy losses, so you earned a reward. I don't... Did we lose anybody? I don't think we did, because Annette somehow lived. Oh, secret book. Another steroid to put onto Annette. And a goddess icon. Another thing to put onto Annette. Why? Why did this happen? Lenato was always such a kind man. Everyone in the village was... so nice to me. And I... I killed them. I, I killed them all. I had to. I know I had to. I know that. But still, I... What does that make me? Please, don't beat yourself up, Ash. We did what had to be done. I'm... I'm sorry. I shouldn't be bothering you. That... That was my first time killing civilians, too. Those who I'm sworn to protect. That's the reality of war are you insane those weren't knights or soldiers but fathers and sons we we shouldn't have killed them we should have found another way i think I, there was a good way to answer that i'm sorry it's not fair for me to blame you for the circumstance i know that if we hadn't done what we did even more civilian lives would have been lost at least my mind understands that, but my heart... <sighs> Professor, those in power, no matter the era, always claim they fight for a just cause, that they take life to protect it. But is it truly okay to take any life you please, all in service of some implacable just cause? Lord Lenato didn't take up arms out of a lust for power. He simply believed his cause to be just. Who's to say it wasn't? Maybe we didn't have to cut him down like that. Maybe we could have reached a mutual understanding, found a path of peace. I... I have to believe that. Perhaps the notion sounds laughable to you. Mere lip service to naive ideals. But I can't believe otherwise. 
sorry to intrude, but this incident may be more serious than anticipated. I found this on Lord Lenato. It's a note that mentions a plan to assassinate Lady Rhea. We can't tell who sent it, so the source is suspect, but the content is too disturbing to ignore. We must report this to Lady Rhea right away. I hope that it's nothing. I am glad to see that you have returned safely. The Goddess is gracious with her divine protection. But it was not only her divine protection that shielded you, was it? You are just as skilled as I had hoped. My students deserve the praise. I am not so sure. I heard some of the students were hesitant about fighting militia. However, we must punish any sinner who may inflict harm upon believers, even if those sinners are civilians. I pray the students learned a valuable lesson about the fate that awaits all who are foolish enough to point their blades towards the heavens. Our real concern is what Catherine reported, the secret message that was in Lord Lenato's possession. It contained a deplorable plot to target the Archbishop on the day of the Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. The plan seems unrealistic at best, but a threat is a threat. We must maintain constant vigilance. To that end, I would like for you and your students to help with security on the day of the ritual. Okay, you can count on us. That is most reassuring. You have my gratitude. The rite of rebirth is of paramount importance. It is when the Church of Seros and its believers unite to pray for the return of the Goddess. The Archbishop and I will be confined to the Goddess Tower once the ritual begins. Of course, the Knights will be on high alert as well. But there aren't enough of them to keep watch on every corner of the monastery. It is far from ideal to be forced to mobilize students. But the gravity of this situation requires that we all bend to avoid breaking. While there is no need to fear for my safety, we cannot turn a blind eye to those who would blaspheme so heinously. With any luck, this will all be for naught. Still, be on your guard. <sighs> I'm tired. Yeah, save my progress.